I'm writing a paper on 401ks for a class in financial stability in college and beyond. The first place I look for information is Georgia Southern's library website. I begin the research by typing in 401ks or 401k in the search engine that's on the website because that's what first shows up. Then I go to the left side of the page and limit the results to full text and scholarly peer-reviewed journals because I feel like those are accurate and reliable sources. I'm just looking for an article still. I'm going to choose the link that will take me to the article saying traditional 401ks versus the new Roth 401ks because the title looks like something I can understand. I'd first read the abstract just to make sure that it's going to be somewhere or something about what I want to know if it's going to give me information on the actual 401k and how it compares to other or new versions. I'm going to save this source because the abstract says that it's going to uh, ab abstract shows that it's going to talk about the Roth 401k and how it is different from the traditional 401k and talk about the retirement plan and financial factors influencing this, the decision of which one a person would take. I keep up with the information I locate by printing out the article. going to change my search by checking off of the slowly peer-reviewed journals because I couldn't find or there were, weren't many links that I wanted to click on the other one 
and I feel like it would give me more of a summary or more opinion based if I took it off of the peer reviewed journals. I didn't change my search terms and I'm scrolling looking for an article or link to choose. I'm going to choose the second article, 401k Free Escape Artists, because the information prior to clicking on the link says that it presents information and advice on the 401k retirement plans. I'm not going to save this source because it doesn't give me an overview of the 401k. It's more for people who actually have one and know what they're doing. It doesn't explain anything really. I'm going to change my search terms to 401k and retirement because I feel like maybe that will decrease my results, which it did. going to choose another link saying retirement account options when beginning a career because the description says first, first starts off with when college graduates begin their careers and since I'm in college I feel like maybe it will be useful for me and for my research I'll start off reading the abstract on the PDF full text. So once again, I can get another good idea about what the article will be about. I will save this source because it claims to um, explain 401ks and all of the alternatives to retirement plans. And I'll print it out once again and just 
keep it with all of my other sources. I normally stay on the library's website unless I can't find any articles but obviously the results are showing that there is a lot of information on the 401k and normally I just find enough outside sources to meet the requirements of the paper or when I feel like I have enough information. So I'm continuing to scroll and look for more articles that will earn links that seem useful. There's a link that is called In Praise of 401ks and it is more f for the positive aspects of the 401k retirement account, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to keep this source because one, it explains what a 401k is, it tells you if you want one or not, what you should do if you do have one, and other alternatives. And at the end, it also shows that the author shows what the author does and why he is a uh, someone you can trust So then I go back and continue to look for more articles. I haven't changed my search terms because I think that these results are better than the ones before. I'm going to change the publication date though because it's in the range from 1924 to 2015 and I'm sure it's changed since then. <laughs> 